can see right now they're clearing this from the sidewalk. Good morning everyone, I'm here with the MMDA and today they're going to be dealing with the usual stuff, illegal parking, um, counter flowing vehicles, those riding without helmets, coding and so on. So let's go. You can see over here is the QC DPOS. They just stopped that vehicle, but I'm not sure why. And you can see they've just stopped someone now uh, because the back rider doesn't have a helmet. You can see right now they're clearing this from the sidewalk. Uh, this will go on the scope truck. You have to be careful because that looks like rusty old metal. Bong, why is this one being removed? We are removing this because this is supposed to be a security outpost. But the thing is, when we got here, there are people living there already. Ah, okay. If you smell the area, it's already pungent because of the uh, because the people who live there. Uh, peace there, do, not, do number two, and whatever they do, right? Okay. And it's full of trash. Right. So and it's not being used for their it's being used for its purpose. purpose. Right. And okay. what's the use? Can you see it's already delap dilapidated? Yeah, it's yeah. It's even partially obstructing the sidewalk. Okay. And it doesn't serve its purpose anymore. I think it's better to be off than being used for whatever purpose other than its uh, supposed intention. Okay, thank you. So you see they've managed to get it up on the truck now and they're just tying it down to make sure it doesn't fall off while they're driving around. And you can see they've just stopped this vehicle here for a coding so they'll issue the ticket for that and then the driver can move on his way. So they're getting ready to impound this vehicle. What's the reason? Uh, the vehicle is already blocked on the sidewalk. Okay. Uh, we will already wait here for uh, at least 10 minutes. The driver did eventually appear, but it's too late because they've already connected the tow bar. So it's still going to be taken away. And here goes now, and I'll move on to the next one. And right now they're writing out tickets to the other vehicles that are parked here. Um, since they have drivers, they're just getting tickets instead of being towed. And you can see we're now moving into the market area. Um, this is more for the SCOG team than the enforcers. They will just try and clear. So there's enough space on the sidewalks when you're walking along here, walking along there, so that people don't have to be in the road all the time. I have to say, this is probably the clearest I've ever seen it. You can see a clear walkway there. You can see a clear walkway there. And even all the way up here, I am so impressed. Uh, Honestly, I'm very impressed. This is the best I've ever seen it. it. Starts to get a little bit more congested over there, but you know what? This is really very good. You can see here, they've got huge ice blocks like this that they then break up with ice picks. It's pretty interesting. See how he's got a special tool that locks on so they can carry it or drag it pretty cool i bet that's so heavy though and then they've got a machine here which is breaking up into ice chips so they'll then use to keep the fish cold and other stuff what was the reason for stopping this one no documents no originally original violation no headlights no headlights then the motorcycle is uh, no side mirror. No side mirror. Yes. And then how about driver's license, yeah, registration? The driver is no driver's license. No license. Right now he's taking a look at this um, because all of this produce is out here on the sidewalk instead of inside the shop. So they're now working very fast to get it all inside um, because they're worried about being confiscated. Well, at least they're clearing it pretty quickly. And you can see it's almost cleared. Um, they've been working very, very fast and there you go, they're just taking in the final boxes now and the sidewalk is clear again. So that was pretty quick work. You can see that since the last time we came here, they put some fences here which says Quezon City Government Project, no entry, not passable to all vehicles. So this road is really closed off completely now. They just loaded this bike onto the tow truck because they stopped a driver and when they asked him for a license, he wasn't able to provide one. So the bike's been impounded. Right now they're looking at this stuff. Ah, <laughs> 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 Para hindi kayo ma-permisyo, 
uh, sinasabihan na namin kayo, first time namin mag-operate dito, nagkita niyo yung yellow line na yan. Yung dilaw na linya, wala dapat lalagpas dyan. So, kayo, clearly na nakalagpas na kayo. Pwede ba yun? Miss, aaraw-arawin namin to ha. Sabi sa inyo, pag nalagpas namin kayo dito bukas, ito yung warning ko. Pukunin namin to pa rin. This is Summer Street. Uh, this is stretch from uh, stretches from Timog Avenue up to Mother Ignacia. This is a long street. And this is a great alternate route if you get stuck in EDSA. You okay. just take Mother Ignacia, pass through here, and you can exit the uh, Kamuning area, Timog and Kamuning area. So we're starting, this is the first day of our operations here. And this is our initial assessment. We are conducting the inventory of what could we be facing in the next few days in clearing this area. As you could have seen, uh, we already asked GMA Network to clear the sidewalk, uh, the vendors to get all the, the ice chests on the sidewalk. We have seen these tires and we will be, we will be removing them also as obstructions here. And maybe we, we would be seeing a lot of illegally parked vehicles in the next few blocks, right? Because uh, the residents here, you know, they, they got used to uh, parking on the street. So that too, we're going to conduct an inventory. Maybe we'll just, just be issuing tickets right now. Then in the next few days, we'll be conducting the intensified uh, towing operation. Because in this area, the sidewalk is a little bit confusing because sometimes That's it's on the right. outside, then it's on the inside of That's there, right. But then it's blocked, so you can't pass through. And, and aside from that, uh, you could see the construction that's going on here. They practically occupied the, the sidewalk, and there's really no way for pedestrians to walk on this side of the street. Uh, we could ask the engineer, uh, the engineer of uh, this construction site, if they could uh, at least put an, uh, a boardwalk okay, that yeah. the pedestrians could walk, right? So this is something that we need to uh, deal with uh, later on with them. Right now they're doing the sirens and the horns to try and get the owners of these cars to come out. They've also advised the security guard to try and find the drivers. Uh, because you can see here's the sidewalk and then there's the cars. I think this one has enough space behind it to move back so it won't be on the sidewalk. This one I'm not so sure about. Uh, it'll be a little bit difficult. Sorry about all the noise but that is part of their uh, protocol or guidelines to make noise to give the drivers a chance to come out and move the vehicles. <laughs> So, yung licensya mo binigay. Opo. Tama. Opo. So ngayon, kailangan pa natin isang licensya para doon. Ay, ako rin po. Hindi ka naman po pwede mag-drive ng dalawang sasakyan. Hindi, ganito po sir. Nung inuha po yan, binaray po dito. Kaya nga. Tapos inuha po ulit kami na bano, binaray po dito. Hindi ka namin po, ito ah. Hindi ka namin po pwede insuhan ng dalawang ticket for the same offense at the same time. For the same offense. No? So ngayon, mamili ka na sa sakyan na kukunin mo or humanap ka ng isang driver dun sa kabila na kung titigit ka na. Best option. Wala bang may license sa dito sa inyo? Wala na ang kagawa dito. Boss, hindi kami pa pwede mag-antay. Bumagpas na yung 5 minutes nyo. 7 uh, minutes na kayon. Nag-i-delay ang operation sa aming kakaantay ng disenter. Mamili ka lang ako. Ano, okay, okay, boss. Baka na yung disenter. Yun, yun po ang sinasabi ko eh. Taga-ticket. As you can see right now, they're writing out ticket for this one. And writing out ticket for this one. Ano na itong mga barangay na to? We need to ask barangay. We already talked about this. Oh, you did? Yeah, but they need to open this so that we could go through and through. Did they agree? Or yeah, they, they agreed to open it? Yes. So that we could declare this as a towing zone and uh, uh, vehicles could cut through from, from uh, there. Uh, uh, from Mother Ignacia up to Timog, right? Okay. Uh, they told me that this would be timed. I mean, uh, there, there are times... A certain hours of the yeah. day. So what's happening with these taxis right now? These uh, taxis uh, committed a violation of uh, obstruction. Obstruction? Yes, sir. 
And is he, what's he doing there? Is he checking? She uh, verified the franchising or uh, documents. Okay. Thank if it's you. okay. Standard practice. You may remember this area from a previous video where they towed a lot of vehicles that were parked like this, blocking the sidewalk. But you can see now they're parallel parking, so the sidewalk doesn't get blocked. So, big improvement. So, that was a pretty short video, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.